क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन एरर एनालिसिस इफ वी ड्रॉप एज स्टोन टाइम टेकन बाई स्टोन टू फॉल डिस्टेंस एल विल बी रूट टू एल बाई जी एंड देन दिस प्लैश ऑफ साउंड विल बी हर्ड वेन साउंड ट्रेवल्स डिस्टेंस एल अप तो टाइम टेकन बाई साउंड टू रीच आर ईयर्स इज एल बाई सी तो टोटल टाइम टेकन इज दिस वैल्यू टाइम टेकन बाई स्टोन टू रीच वाटर लेवल एंड देन टाइम टेकन बाई साउंड टू कम अप टू आर ईयर we have to find out error in this function of t to so for a small change of delta l change in t is delta t so t plus delta t equals l is l plus delta l now we are using binomial approximation since it has been given that errors are small so we are using binomial approximation to so 1 plus delta l by l to power 1 by 2 becomes this value after binomial approximation finally after manipulation of this expression which you can see subsequently and substituting the numerical values given numerical values we find out delta t be equal to be equal to this value and finally percent error becomes 15 by 16% which is approximately 1% so our Answer is one percent. Question number six. In this question, there is expanding sphere, and it is given that mass of the sphere is constant. So density of the sphere is mass upon volume. We differentiate density with respect to time, and then divide this expression by rho to obtain this value. And according to question. this term is given to be constant so dr by t comes out to be proportional to r radius so our answer is c question number 7 in case of a regular polygon the semi angle is pi by n this side is h so slant height becomes h upon cos pi by n so maximum rise in center of mass will occur when this arm becomes vertical so change in height of center of mass will be phi light minus inch light so our answer is c question number 8 in this question a rod falls on a smooth surface since there is no external force acting on the rod in horizontal direction So center of mass of the rod falls vertically. So answer B is correct. And as center of mass was initially at the height of L by two, so displacement of center of mass is L by two and mass cos theta. Torque of gravitational force about end is m g L by two sine theta. And finally, trajectory equation of trajectory of point A. So taking the vertical line along which center of mass moves taking origin at the ground just below that the coordinates of point a are the x coordinate and y coordinate are respectively l by 2 cos theta and l cos theta on eliminating cos theta we get the equation of ellipse so only answers a b and c are correct D is wrong. The final answer is A, B, and C. So we use the relation delta x equals to d cos theta for the general path difference expression. At p two, we can put theta equals to zero, which would give us delta x equals to d, which is three thousand lambda. Therefore, C would be one of the answers. 
This also eliminates A as an answer. To find the total number of fringes in this location, we could use delta x equals to n lambda. Putting n lambda equals to 3000 lambda, we would have n equals to 3000. This gives D as another answer. For option B, we'll have to see how delta theta varies with theta. You write the standard equation for path difference for the given problem, differentiate it, this is what you have. On varying theta from 90 to 0, as the question says, you'll find that delta, three incre delta theta increases instead of being decreased as, it's, as it is suggested. So B would not be an answer. 